Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. In a previous video, we talked briefly about some new recent games that have been made for old consoles and I thought I would show off one today. Micromages, I have not played this, so we'll get in here and see what it is about. But it, it was released about a year ago for uh, the NES, the N original Nintendo system, uh, also available on Steam and itch.io uh, and probably other places as well. There'll be some links in the description and we'll get in here and play Micro Mages, an NES game that was made recently. So I'm excited about this. Uh, I have not played it, so I do not know what the game is about or what we're supposed to be doing. So we, well, I guess we're this little, little purple dude down here. Okay. Oh, we can wall jump. Good, good, good. It's shot. Uh oh. We better get going. So I get right off the top. Uh, this looks like a like a. Um, I can't even. I don't even know if there's a a term for it. But it, and I've seen a lot of stages, individual stages do this, but this. Uh, auto scroll of the stage where you have to just stay up above um, I can't think of a game off the top of my head that um, is based on just the auto scroll now obviously there are levels um, there are levels in a lot of games that do auto scroll but not so much where it is the part of the basic premise of the game we can wall jump we can shoot up and that's pretty cool because i can just go under these blocks and shoot oh there's a fairy i'm i'm assuming that fairy is important i don't know what it does but we will uh figure it out um i do like this is kind of a neat game there's definitely some checkpoints fairly uh often you looks like i could wall jump practically indefinitely so that's kind of cool uh, I think I missed a bunch of stuff, but um, yeah, there we go. Our shot doesn't go all the all the way across either. So hey, it looks like we got one little star for that tower. That's okay. I'm happy with that. There are some games I think, as I, I explained in other, uh, is these, all these are bounties. That's cool. Um, in like the racing game that I did recently that oh yep yeah that's not good so the fairy keeps us alive okay so that's that's good to know um there are some games that i know that i'm not good at and it's just i'm 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 cool with that and uh this would be one of those that probably i'm just not going to be very good at and i'm gonna have to be okay with that uh knowing your strength is an important part of gaming but uh, I probably should go over and get that casket. I missed the last one, and I think they're probably something. Ooh, a fairy. That's cool. So, the, yeah, the fairy saves our life once we get hit. It looks like it's a one-hit kind of thing. Um, I'm glad I went that way because I would have missed. Now, can I go? I, does it appear that I can go down? Ooh, we got a giant a goat over here that's blowing bubbles at us. That's not a good thing. Uh, but we definitely have new, um, enemies as well. So that's, we're going to have to watch the enemies and th that sort of thing. Uh, one of the things that I do want to talk about, I, in the previous episode or video, we talked that I get a little frustrated at old, you know, new games made for old consoles, not necessarily because they are bad in any way, shape or form. It's just that. Uh, it surprises me in a way that developers would choose this path because of the limitations of the game. But that being said, you also have got to know that ooh, I hope that little there we go. Can I can I pick up two fairies? It doesn't appear that I can have two fairies. So one. OK, only one fairy at a time. That's good to know. Um, I wonder if it's beneficial to um lose one fairy to get another one um but as i was saying um oh gosh this is gonna be hard i hate things like this especially with one life ah! um uh where was i oh man i totally lost my train of thought um oh 
but uh, you know the the game it, Nintendo has very basic graphics as I'm sure you're all well well aware of but the interesting thing is over the years of uh, the life cycle of the ooh, I don't even know what that is life cycle of the Nintendo they were able to make huge improvements um, if you oh a boss I didn't expect a boss um, so if you look at something like uh, the um, you know uh, Super Mario Brothers it's a very very basic oh we did not make that <laughs> uh, you know very very basic one of the first games out Mario Zelda the backgrounds that sort of stuff is a very basic setup um, then if you look at one of the last games I'll say last meaning the last um, officially released game uh, uh, Wario Woods there is a large difference between those two games in, in terms of graphical capabilities they were able to figure out quite a bit in the life of the uh, Nintendo to oh oh wow oh, wow cool I have a little floaty thing that's kind of cool um, in the life of the Nintendo they were able to figure out some uh, ways to add cheat the system so to speak oh we lost our uh, we lost not only our floaty thing ah crap but we lost our wings as well that's we are not doing good here um, so you know you come back after you know even though I say that the graphics are not very good or the uh, abilities of the Nintendo are not the best uh, if you look at what they have been able to accomplish over the uh, lifetime of the Nintendo is pretty impressive I gotta say uh, so you know when you come back at games like this uh, you know the tips and tricks that they have learned along the way have made a huge difference in you know gameplay and abilities and that sort of stuff and even the graphics ability you know in the original uh mario they there wasn't much of a back uh you know background at all so you look and see you know hey there's not you know um a background here but again if you look at this now there they have been able to trick the system basically um to make there be a background now so it's definitely impressive what they've been able to do and uh, over the life of the Nintendo and even coming back while they may be a little bit simpler it's not like there's nothing available or that the uh, system is just uh, you know not any good I don't want that to be thought as any at all you know the Nintendo is an early system there was definitely uh, some issues with it but over the life of the system they were definitely able to um, you know, make improvements and do stuff like that so um, I cannot get is there something I could okay as I'll say there has to be something I could climb on or something that is kind of cool that it kind of waited for me to figure that out um, that is definitely now can I walk around I cannot walk around okay we got a little bit of Donkey Kong going on here uh, with those we're gonna run over and see if I can grab whatever that is <laughs> I think it's just uh, money oh I'm gonna die I'm gonna die Ooh! let's get up here as quick as I can uh, that was oh, come on, get up there okay there we go um, that guy's kind of in our way let's see if we can yeah, let's break these out now how am I going oh I, oh okay that's cool so we even got a little bit of Mario play here they have definitely uh, put in some interesting mechanics in here which I very much like so we got a little bit of Donkey Kong that looks like a little bit of Mario and uh, it's quite interesting now did these pipes go down um, nothing here can I it doesn't appear th oh okay there we go this is really cool I am really liking this game and just like I said there is um, you know a simplicity that is really cool uh, here and that's ooh, how am I gonna oh ooh, I landed on it. I just have to get uh, there to do that jump there oh, uh, 
a simplicity and a you know there's there's fun in that simplicity i guess i'm trying to say but there's definitely i can't go down there let's see not all the oh, 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 oh stop popping me around man you cannot i would like to see a wrap that would be cool if there was a a wrap to the um uh world i mean the game's released and i'm you know obviously not gonna change it at this point but i i would have you know liked to have seen a a kind of a wrap effect to the world because it looks like there should be i would like to try to get up there if i can uh if i can figure out that one does not oh gosh this is getting me a little sick here this does not let me go down I can't that's gonna let me go oh will you stop hopping around man this one goes up there they kind of just automatically put you there and I wish I could figure out because I don't want to go in there can I jump over it ah maybe not quite enough I think if you were able to get over that and went down you could have got the other one but that's all right we are on two tower two two which is cool uh they another neat thing about the game is they they have added mechanics but they have definitely uh done it slowly and kind of the classic nintendo of you get a little bit in a safe environment which is the bottom of the tower figuring out how to do the um you know um rope climbs and that sort of stuff and then it becomes a little bit more difficult as you progress let's kill that goat out of there that's going to definitely be a an annoying thing these little guys jump and i think the best way to do it is just get underneath of them um i wonder if the only th oh, very definitely important oh and that thing's probably important over here can i not get i was gonna say i, I can't not get that we're gonna try to come over here and get this i think some oh got my wings so that's a floaty uh ability it looks like uh we kind of ran into that a little bit earlier as i jump it kind of does a oh, okay i uh, no ah crap yeah yeah you gotta be careful if you're right on the middle of those they will take you through you gotta be ready and for that jump it looks like i'm climbing up a uh a ship here or a bunch of ships or something like that so that's kind of cool Ooh, a heart awesome that reminds me of whether they intended to or not it kind of reminds me of um super mario brothers 2 uh with the uh, floaty heart thing when you get kill so many or something to that effect um you um when you is that just like an invisible wall how would you even get in there um it stopped so we're going to explore a little bit here is there oh okay i could shoot up through here so i should be able to jump up through there i could definitely shoot up through it but i definitely don't have the ability to jump that high right here wonder if there's another huh that is weird this guy is going to be really annoying to kill <laughs> because he jumps so much oh come on we get well you know what just go up yeah there we go yeah i don't want it land on him there we go i really would like to so another thing that's very interesting i noticed that um you can jump over that okay so that's good to know um the 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 feather disappeared after so long so it looks like if uh you don't get something for so long then um you will lose it uh oh See, there's another enemy that added right at the beginning so that we can kind of be safe and learn how to deal with that so i kind of i really like this game this is definitely a very cool game um in general i don't really care for um um uh, what's the um auto scroll stages they're not fun uh but you know then again it's it's definitely an interesting to set it as this is you know ugh, what, what did he did i don't want to get hit with that is what i said um it's definitely interesting to put that at the uh center uh of the 
uh, style of the game. So let's see if we can get over here before we are. I'm going to assume also that we're going to die if we uh, get lost. Uh, come on, I'm not going to get up. Can I oh, the goat. So right there, the, 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 the uh, bubble comes down a little bit, which is like right where I don't want it to be. Come on, get up there. You can jump up the thing. That's good to know as well. Um, is that you can jump up the rope if you have to hurry. I want to definitely get that flag and then try to come over here and get, because there's definitely good things in those chests, whether it's just money. Uh, sometimes it seems to be just money, but also uh, you can get a fairy in that chest or the uh, feather thing, which is kind of neat. And it looks like we got a boss. So it's going to be a level, three levels. And at the end of the third level, it looks like there's going to be a boss. Oh, lightning. Okay. Don't like that. Um, so we got a little bit more Donkey Kong going on here. It looks like with the uh, barrels and the uh, lightning. I wonder if uh, I could shoot him. There we go. I was going to say, I'm trying to figure out where I could shoot him from. Um, so it's going to be avoiding the barrels and avoiding the uh, lightning bolt that comes out pretty much um what this section is about it looks like it can also shoot the barrels i didn't take the time to see if i can okay you can blow up the barrels that's definitely a good thing i'm definitely hitting him a lot um but i like it it's a fun looking it's definitely a fun game i'm impressed with again what they have been able to put out on the uh the system you know, on a Nintendo system, it is much better to jump over the barrel, I believe, than trying to shoot the barrel. But as I continue to go on and play these games and play games, you know, that are made for the Nintendo even nowadays, um, I seem to always be impressed with what they were able to uh, accomplish. Um, really want that chest. Oh, a fairy. Can I get over there and get it? Uh, probably by the time I do, I will die, but we will see. Uh, run, run, run. <laughs> yes, we made it over there. That blue liquid does not look like an inviting liquid, so we will try to stay away from it as best as we can. Ooh, okay, I saw that snake. Oh, well, we're gonna have to go over it. That's not good. Uh, it looked like it charged me, and I'm gonna shoot right over that guy. I knew it. Soon as I saw him and the height I was at, I knew I was going to charge over him. Shoot. I would like to see some more power-ups, better weapons or something like that. Maybe we will eventually in the game. I think as, see, as soon as that snake sees me, he will charge me. I did not see that bat at all. So I'm kind of glad that I... Um... Oh, shoot. I lost my fairy. I, I forgot about the bones. So we definitely have to be careful about the snake and hopefully we can jump there we go get to that guy i would like to get a little bit farther also in typical nintendo fashion they do have the codes which is cool to see uh the code if you notice at the end of each board they have that uh game whoa whoa, whoa. oh man i saw them a little too late um, it's just there the password that is a typical uh, Nintendo feature because there was not uh, typically not enough room on a um, a N N Nintendo disc to uh, save the game data uh, some discs did have some special or same some games that were games in there that had a special uh, I don't know if they had special discs inside or special little rom chips or whatever in them um but there were some games out there that uh were able to save game data um again a lot of that game data is very basic kind of data it's um you know kind of um you know you think you're saving a lot uh but in reality it there's not a a lot of information that's uh, actually being saved. You get like number values and stuff like that. So how in the world am I going to get up oh, there? There we go. This is going to be tricky. I don't know if I could kill, kill him in the amount of time. There we go. 
Uh, will he, like, run off the edge? Here we go. Nope. He does, like, kind of set there for a second and charge up, I guess, so to speak, before he charges you, which is helpful. Um, I did not realize that right off the top, but, um, ooh, I no, 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 this is that. Ooh, I saw him drop. So which ones? I bet you that one is. Here we go. I saw him drop through the floor, and I knew there would be a uh, one that, you know, was, uh, uh, go through, but, uh, I didn't realize there would be uh, two of them. So yeah, uh, some of the games like The Legend of Zelda and other games, you, they were able to save on the cartridge. I'm not sure whether they had a special chip uh, that allowed them to save or not, uh, but a lot of games, a lot more, the typical of the Nintendo games were that um, they had some kind of password sy uh, system like Metroid uh, had a pass Patroid, Patroid, <laughs> a password system that would re you know somehow be able to define um you know like a level you were on or a um what you uh had now in metroid's case it was what you had so um there in that case you would have um you know, it, you, whatever uh, equipment that you found was saved in your password was you where you were given. Um, in other games, and I'm assuming like in this one, it is just a level set. So um, the password probably in all the game you start off with three lives or something like that, uh, with no items because in every level it seems like you start out with, uh, you know, unless you don't, unless you already have it. Whoa, I don't know if you guys picked that up or not, but there was just a massive thunder rumble here and it's still going on. So, wow, uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm not sure if it came across on the recording or not. Those are things that you cannot uh, predict when you go and record and you can't really do anything about them as well. Um, but anyways, uh, so this one I would assume uh, is just a, um, but you know, how long have I been playing? Okay. Uh, uh, this one is probably just a basic, ah, come on, uh, uh, level set that each level, ooh, ooh, a, a one up, yay! Uh, so each level, uh, each password just represents a certain level, and I fell right into that, man. That was bad form there. So, uh, it looks like, I think I had a fairy there too. So the blue liquid seems like an instant kill here. Um, I would like to kill this guy without like dying this time. But if I, yeah, there we go. I need to get in a spot that his weapon is not going to hit me. Come on. Go, slide. I like the wall slide. The wall slide is definitely a cool thing. Very, very good here. Come on, get him, get him. Now, some of this stuff you could shoot at a distance, but unfortunately, oh, okay, that's good. Uh, ooh, it, it kind of stuck here though. Can I get on the chest? There we go. Let's grab the uh, flag. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to fall into the uh, blue liquid of death there for a second. Uh, ew. there is an interesting thing I do notice in a lot of games. Uh, when you have like a climb like this, um, I'm just going to run past him. Um, if you're all the way at the top, it doesn't help you. Um, it doesn't, you will not jump farther if you're all the way at the top. So if you're all the way at the top against the, the, uh, on a vine, all the way, oh, you know what? I probably should go over here and get that chest, whatever it is. It's probably going to be helpful. I usually just go quickly because, aha because you've oh, i wish i could have two fairies uh that would definitely be cool um i usually try to hurry because the the ground is obviously coming up uh but when it stops here at the you know what i probably should you know what we're gonna go over here 
and see if we can get a feather because the feather is also another hit. So if there happens to be a feather over here, we'll get two hits. One for the feather, well, actually it would be, end up being three hits. One for the feather, one for the fairy, and then uh, one death. Oh, 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 come on. And I was so close. This is my last life. Let's see what the, uh, yeah, this is a very fun game. Um, definitely interesting. I do enjoy it. Um, I wonder how many levels there are in it and we'll, we'll see. Oh, there we go. We got a feather. Awesome. So we could just kind of hold it. Oh, and it, and it kind of floats us down, I think. Or no, it holds us at a certain level. Let's look at that again. So yeah, it holds us. It's like a bird. Uh, it holds us at a certain level for so long, which is kind of cool. That's definitely uh, going to be very helpful as we fight this boss here. Oh, he's kind of cool looking. Let's see what he does. We're going to have to come up here probably and shoot him. Um, he's releasing a bat. Okay. Oh, shoot. What is the bat? Is the bat, you know, invincible? So where do we have to hit? So the bat definitely was, came at me, and he definitely had a lot of hits. Oh, shoot, to do. Um, can I get... What am I supposed to... Oh, I... Sp okay, hit the helmet. Hit the helmet. Ouch. Okay, I'm not sure I can kill the bat, to be honest with you. But if I hit the helmet... Yeah, I think the bats go away after so long. And that's it. Or maybe... If I could just sit here and hit the helmet enough, I don't know if I can kill the bat. It doesn't seem that I can kill him. It seems like he goes away after the uh, swords start going up, but I'm not sure about that. Oh, he's starting to let out more bats. It looks like... Oh, I thought he was going to let out more bats there, but it doesn't... The one bat... Oh, ooh, he damaged... Okay, that's good to know. I got a little... Ugh, a little setup here, it looks like. I like that the helmet broke a little bit. It gives me a little bit of uh, information about what's happening. And uh, a lot of uh, old games, they couldn't do a lot to show uh, effect, or maybe they didn't have enough space to put a, a health bar or whatever. But a lot of times in early games, early NES games, they either cracked like the helmet did, or they... Uh, they would change colors, and that is a very common thing in uh, early Nintendo games, uh, that, um, especially the colors. Um, so things would change colors and would let you know, so they would slowly go from, you know, I broke all those blocks and did not pick up that diamond. Um, they, they, yeah, they would slowly go from like blue to green to red or something to that effect. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this game. I really would like to break those uh, bones when they come out, but they only like hit so many times. And, oh, that was close. Um, I'm glad that he did not hit me with that. So, yeah, this guy out of my way. And he's gonna be, if I can just go over here, I can kill him and then go up. There we go. It looks like he's throwing a feather at me, but I think it's supposed to be a, um, a uh, shield uh, not a shield a spear that's what I wanted to say oh let's take that over there can I run against this <laughs> Woo! here we go definitely impressed with this game I've, I've actually been watching this game and winning this game for a while um, from when it first came out um, but yeah, I am very impressed with the game and what they were able to accomplish with just in the, the Nintendo settings. And it's neat. It's a fun little uh, platformer um, out of all the all the genres that I have played on the franchise. Probably uh, one that I've played the least, but also one of my favorite is the platformer genre. So it, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I, I finally got the chance to be able to play one um, and, and there's definitely a lot of other aspects to it, but it is a pretty much a platformer and I enjoy it quite a bit. So I think I got hit over there. I'm thinking that the, if I hit the fans, it will kill me, but I'm not sure about that. 
There we go. We got a lot of stars on that one. That was pretty good. I think we are going to end the episode there. 7641. If we are going to continue, that is the number we're going to. 7641. Seven, I got to try to say it several, several times so that when I write it down, I write the 76. I think it was 7641. All right. Thank you so much for watching. That was Micro Mages available on Steam and Itch.io. Links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.